guys do you know what is paralanguage? Well. So let me tell you about paralanguage. It is the non-lexical component of communication by speech. These are the components of paralanguage. Pitch. Volume. Let's know more about pitch. Pitch is the highness or lowness of the voice. We vary our pitch to reflect our mood and interest in conversing. Hi, what's your name? Oh. Myself, Dave. Hi, Dave. How you doing? Aww. Oh, I'm pretty good, Joey. So how did you feel when that guy asked Dave his name? Didn't you feel awkward? We associate lower pitches with male voices. Hence low-pitched voices define strength, sexiness, and maturity. Do you speak with a loud voice that people often tell you that you're too loud? Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ritu. So did you notice the difference between their voice? The first women had a loud voice. Whereas the second women had a high pitch. So we associate higher pitches with female voices. Hence high-pitched voices associates with helplessness, tension, and nervousness. Volume. The degree of loudness. Or the intensity of a sound. Your volume should reflect the nature of your message. Volume that is varied is most effective. Yeah. Uh, excuse yeah. me guys, mind if I get through? Excuse me, so there's no reason to raise your voice right now. I'm just trying to walk through the courtyard to get to my office. So you're being very rude and loud. I'm just trying to get through, there's nothing to be upset about. Okay, sir, we are subscribing to the social standard of not speaking in your full voice when passing someone you don't know. An individual who is typically loud may alienate others, such a person is often viewed as overbearing or aggressive. In contrast, if you are soft-spoken, others may interpret your behavior speaking as to rate as the third vocal cue affecting the communication of meaning. Most of us speak at an average rate of 150 words per minute. When we speed up our speech, exceeding 275 to 300 words per minute, it is difficult for others to comprehend what we are saying. Hello, when I was 12 years old growing up on Long Island, there was a cerebral palsy fair a few blocks away from my house, and they announced that they would donate $2,000 to cerebral palsy for anyone that broke a Guinness record. When we exceed our speed rate, it is difficult for others to comprehend what we are saying, and our message thus becomes virtually unintelligible. And finally, get the job done. In contrast, if we speak too slowly, others may perceive us as tentative or lacking in confidence or intelligence. An overly deliberate speaking pace contributes to boredom, lack of attentiveness, and unresponsiveness in others. When talking about more serious subjects, we often slow down. On the other hand, our speaking rate usually accelerates as we shift to talking about lighter topics.